I think Boston is the best college hockey town, men's and women's going. If Boston is the showcase for college hockey, the Northeastern Huskies are the city's top dog. Hockey is kind of the sport on campus, and it's just been really cool to, you know, kind of walk around campus and everybody congratulate you. There is a lot of excitement with Northeastern Athletics on this campus, and our student body is responding in such a great way. The NU men's team won the bean pot for the first time in 30 years, and the women's team hanging a banner as champions of Hockey East for the first time in program history. It's just really cool. It just kind of puts Northeastern hockey on the map. They see us win a bean pot, you know, they want to win a championship too. We see them win the Hockey East, we want to win our Hockey East too. The Huskies are piling up the hardware in 2018, and the hope is they're just getting started. And that's exactly what it is. And, you know, we got one trophy this year. In some ways, we've been the underdog in this city, and I've always looked at it as, a, as an underdog, as a hungry dog. We're not done. Obviously, it's huge to win Hockey East, but there's another championship out there. At this time of year, anything can happen. We can beat the best, and that's what you, we're going to have to do to uh, to be champions. The Huskies programs on both the men's and women's side also in the running for some big-time hardware. Two years ago, Kendall Coyne, winning the Patty Kazmaier Award as the best player in women's hockey. This year, they have the front runner to win it on the men's side, where Adam Gadette looks to become the first Hobie Baker Award winner in program history. With the Huskies inside Matthews Arena, Trade Air, 7 Sports.